work on a very nice and sunny winter's morning. I have a really, really busy day today. I'm on my way to my first meeting this morning. Is with my software development team. Um, and they we will be working on our internal systems to try and automate as many things as possible and then also to discuss the workflows uh, that we need to implement for for the business and our staff members on the exactly how the workflow should go if they service a client at the same time trying to automate some of those processes within the system uh, putting some nice functionality in there for clients to use in the future uh, we I think uh, having a system in your organization is super 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 important uh, if you don't have one uh, you should definitely get us some sort of a client relationship management system whether you're a product provider or you have you are a service delivery company uh, having a, a system to to just communicate with your clients and to keep all of your client information in one centralized place um, and to make sure that that you have access um, to that client information from anywhere so anywhere in the cloud you get login details you can go and you can see your clients details in there uh, it's that's so important to to have all of that stuff because there's automation software that can be linked to your system to communicate to your clients for instance communicating um, new products or new services that you have released is very important I think a lot of people forget about the fact that um, their existing client base uh, are their biggest asset and because you are working with you already have an existing relationship with them uh, it's so much easier to tell them about your newest developments and your services and products that you offer so that they can take those products up or purchase your products or even contact you for the latest service you offer uh, and also they can feel that they being valued as a client because continuous communications with your clients um, is very very valuable they would want to know that you are thinking about them that you are being in touch with them um, and also then uh, via doing that you would then automatically promote your business and your brand because uh, next time that client sits with another guy that has a similar problem or that has a has a problem of which you would have the solution he would then obviously refer you even though he's not the one that needs that solution from you uh, he might sit with somebody and they would say dude I need this and you can provide the solution and they will automatically refer you so most of most of uh, business service companies um, business growth comes from word of mouth it is um, and then obviously marketing but uh, a lot of your business will come from word of mouth that would be one person telling another that you've got a very great service to offer um, and that they are happy with your services or somebody will see your marketing but they won't engage with you as a company until they spoke to somebody else that has said they trust you they use your service as well and uh, they really like working with you so a lot of the time people are looking for a peer review and that is why stuff like Google uh, review and um, testimonials and all of that type of stuff is very important for you is because of the, that peer review that they want uh, before engaging with your product or service your system will help you to communicate to your clients uh, first of all your system will help with the, the processing 
of, of your service level so you can ensure that you you offer the best possible service to your client via a process meaning that if you for instance have a, a, a new client come on board but now that new client has to have a first appointment so your system can measure how quickly does that first appointment happen does it take 24 hours does it take 40 hours eight hours does it take a week for you to um, get in contact with your client uh, and then once you've gotten in contact with the client then you now have the introduction meeting where you introduce to the client your product and service and how you can assist them and then after the introduction meeting you will then on the system mark it as completed uh, and then you will go through and do a, to a follow-up meeting or to a proposal meeting and then again the system measures how long does it take for you to get to that proposal meeting uh, once you've done the proposal meeting uh, you then mark it again as completed uh, and then you can go through to to implementation and signing of the contracts which it might be the second and third or the third and fourth steps of your process uh, once the client has signed the contract again it measures how long does it take for the client to sign the contract after the proposal meeting so and then you can set certain parameters in those in that process where the system can can red flag you or notify you if one of your employees or one of your salespeople or any of your client facing people if one of them do not meet the standard of service levels that you expect from them um, you can then obviously uh, look get that notification from the system and address the problem so you can ask the consultant or the client facing person what is happening here why aren't you getting uh, um, the client to sign the contract 